Well, firstly, uh, Grace and Patty coming home from that and probably it's Bristol City as well. Yeah, so, uh, didn't think about that, to be fair. Uh, yeah, um, I think it's no surprise that we've got a few injuries in our defending unit. Uh, and, you know, I spoke to Grace probably about 12 days ago and just softly mentioned the possibility and, you know, she was all for it. Uh, she's been ticking herself over. She's still a true professional. Just a case now of getting her back on the ball and bringing her up to match speed, really. Uh, but a huge addition and very much needed at this, at this moment in time with the injuries that we've got to. Obviously, Brianna Westrup, Louise Griffiths and Jessica Brown. So she'll stro- slot straight into the squad against Bristol at the weekend. No, she's missing it. She has. She loves it. I think, you know, the video went out this morning. None of the players knew. Uh, so <laughs> I took her into the canteen there and the... They were overjoyed to see her. She's a huge personality, brings lots of experience, so you know, a, a welcome addition. Um, that's okay. It seems like it's been a long while since we've seen you. You're coming in to the Bristol City game on the back of the, the win over Durham. Um, and I, I don't know whether you think it's a sense of calm with what happened at Newcastle that afternoon as well as you winning it at Durham. I think it was an important win. Uh, you know, we were disappointed with the result the previous weekend and we were determined to put things right. And, you know, I thought we were good value. I thought, you know, the data showed that after the game as well. Uh, it was a really solid performance from start to finish. And, you know, we were just absolutely delighted to get the three points going into the international break. Were you still smarting a little bit with the, um, the, the last sort of 10, 15 minutes of the, the Newcastle game? If you applied yourselves a little bit more in the previous 10, 15 minutes, yeah. it might be a completely different yeah, it's small margins and, you know, you, you've got to be at it for 90 minutes and we weren't against Newcastle and ultimately we got punished and, you know, the players were determined to put that right against Durham. Uh, really tough place to go, really small, hostile, plastic pitch, not not familiar to us at all. So, you know, but we're, we're experienced in the, in the fact that we've played there a lot of times and you have to adapt and have to tweak your game really when you, when you play there because you can't really play the way you want to play. Uh, so I thought I thought we got it, you know, we got it off to a tee, and uh, you know we showed good resilience going. To, it seems ages ago now, but going one 0 down, and you know we really turned the screw and uh, had a positive reaction following the goal, and, and never looked back. You say that the, the character in the team, you see, you're seeing that returning now to go a goal down in a game like that, and, and come back to win it. Are you sensing the corners return? I hope so. Uh, we've had lots of conversations about it, you know, the, them coping strategies and, you know, it knocks people people's confidence. Of course it does when you concede a, a few goals and, uh, you know, we've spoken a lot about how we manage them situations and how we come together and what needs to happen following maybe the, the next five minutes into the game. So, yeah, hopefully a corner's been turned and lessons have been learnt in them first six games of the season and we can kick on. Um, we've said, I think, already this season that the division looks more punishing this year than it was last year. You're going into a game against Bristol City, they, they've won their last three. I mean, so, you know, they won't be a walkover by any sense. No, they're, they're in good form. They've obviously got a new manager. Uh, you know, he's changed the style of play. They've, they've changed formation. We've got some really good players and, you know, we're, we're fully aware of, of who they are and, and what we need to do to, to try and get a positive outcome. But we've got seven games before Christmas, five of them are at home. And, you know, especially these five games at home, we really need to make them count. Um, and does everyone return from in yeah, uh, both of them are buzzing, and funny enough, they both play each other in the next international break. So there's been a huge amount of banter this morning between the, the Welsh and the Irish. Uh, delighted for Jesse uh, scoring a goal and creating an assist. Our first thing was this morning, Mel, you need to put us up front on Sunday, and I was like, that's not going to happen, Jesse. Uh, but yeah, re- really happy for both of them, and they're they're both fully fit and ready to go on Sunday. Cheers. It's starting to feel like there's not an easy game in this division, but I mean, what, what are you expecting from, from Bristol City? I'm expecting a really tough game, uh, really well organised, uh, got a lot of pace about them, got a lot of experience, very similar squad to what featured in the Super League last year, not being a massive overhaul there. Uh, so yeah, it'll be a really difficult game and we need to be at the races. The league tables are already looking interesting, obviously it's a slightly shorter season, but I mean, you guys are in eight and... I, I guess you're looking up. You're not looking behind you. It, it, like everybody from from there will be looking, thinking this seems wide open. Yeah, I think it's uh, the league table will probably change every week depending on what how the fixtures lie. But you know, like we said, it's it's a it's a ruthless league now. The the standards way higher than what it was last season. Um, you know, and hopefully we can climb the table. Cheers.
Cheers. Mel, hi, yeah, Adam at Look North. Um, in terms of playing your games and saying, like, what sort of difference does it make to you and, and the girls? Uh, I think it's a positive move for us. I think, you know, the the way the game, the women's game in particular is moving, where you're seeing more and more women's teams playing at the men's stadium. Uh, that's what it's going to look like in years to come. We need to get used to it. We had a fantastic crowd there when we played Newcastle. It looked pretty empty, but felt really noisy and it sounded really noisy. Uh, it was a really good atmosphere and that's something that the players have got to get used to and hopefully the following three games that we play there this season will be better again. Three North East teams in the Championship. What do you think that does for grassroots football? I think it gives young girls opportunities to become professional footballers uh, and I think that's that's really important. I think, you know, you look, certainly when I was young, there was never an aspiration to become a professional footballer because I couldn't see anyone doing it. Uh, but there's huge opportunities now. We've, you know, in terms of our club, we've got an unbelievable pathway that sits underneath the first team. So lots of opportunities for young girls in the North East. What will be the threats from Bristol on Sunday? Uh, I think they've got lots of threats. Uh, like I said before, I think they've got a lot of pace. They've got a lot of experience. Uh, you know, and if we don't defend properly and get our pressing triggers right, that you know they'll they'll punish us. So we have to be switched on and, and really structured when we haven't got the ball. Excellent. Cheers. You mentioned there about the Saudi Brianna Williams and they have quite a lot of great scoring back. Jess is probably expecting Jess and Louise Williams to be out for the Williams as well. Uh, Jack, I will miss this weekend, but she'll be back. She'll be back for Blackburn. Uh, Brianna's scheduled to be back after Christmas. Obviously, she suffered a, a clean break to one of our bones in her in her lower leg. Uh, she's well on the way to recovery. She's on track. She's in a good place, but uh, we'll not see her till till January. And Louise Griffiths has had a little setback in terms of she had an operation in the summer. She had a bone removed from her knee, uh, and it's it's just we haven't got a return date yet for Louise. So in terms of bringing Grace back, I just we had Ella West, obviously who we promoted from the PGA, but. I think just having that extra little bit of experience and defensive cover is why we bring Grace back. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely delighted. I've, I've coached Meg since she was 15 year old. I know exactly what she's about, and you know she's very, very reliable. And uh, to come in against Durham and uh, for our first start of the season, I thought she was really, really strong. Uh, Tough place to play as well, and tough opposition to, to go against. But you know, I thought she was absolutely solid, and you know, she's been given the shirt, and it's, it's hers now to keep. Obviously, the injuries has brought more young players into the squad. Some of them on this, and Jimmy McKinnis in particular, Newcastle and Durham, so really good. They yep. just come on and see, especially around the opposition box, how the conditions on board. You've had a really set up midfield for the years, so now you must be thinking about you know, her chance to get into our fence situations. Yeah, uh, she's chomping at the bit to, to get that start as well. Uh, she's very respectful for the players that are playing above her in terms of the experience that they hold and the qualities that they've got. Uh, but having more of an impact now coming off the bench is, is really positive for me. Uh, you can see the growth in her game as well and her development and you know I'm sure she'll get many more minutes to come. Uh, we've obviously got Emily Cassop featuring tonight against Spain in the Under-17 World Cup so we want to wish her well tonight and hopefully we can get through to the final on Sunday. Uh, she had a really good experience as well, so we'll welcome her back for Blackburn next week as well.